clean, the shelves are clean. Nothing. It's like we're back to how it all started. Like the lineup for the Check out. Check out. Okay, so today we have bad news. Bad news. We all know what it is, and yeah. It's like the PX Mart. Oh. So there are a lot of people. No, 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 no. Food. Like there's clean. The shelves are clean. Nothing. It's like we're back to how it all started. Like everything. Like the lineup for the. Check out. Check out. So we're actually gonna ask a few of our mm -hmm. friends around Taiwan, yeah, and to see how the lockdown will affect them and kind of like what do they suggest to do during mm -hmm. this time since this has been like the worst so far. I think so in Taiwan. Like, yeah, like 180 cases. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's <laughs> call some of our friends and see how they're doing. Hello. Hi, my tall friend. Where's Yuan Yuan? Hi, my short friend. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Yuan Yuan. We want to ask you guys, since the level three lockdown just got announced today, how does it affect you? Uh, so far, not so much. <laughs> we're we're not in, traveling in Taichung right now, so... Uh, and it's not like Taichung city, it's more like in the, in the outskirts of Taichung. Oh, right. Okay. What would you guys suggest that people do? Just one thing that people do in lockdown. I would say respect all the rules because the rules only work if everyone is following them. Yeah. Uh, that means staying inside as much as possible and just spending your time, for example, watching lovely, lovely YouTube videos <laughs> or something else. To, uh, to spend your time and not going crazy indoors. Yeah, pretty much the same. And maybe discover some things that you don't often do at home. Mm. Finally, take the time to, to do those stuff. Maybe cooking, making cakes. I know French people did so many cakes during lockdown last year. <laughs> Suddenly, everyone was like a chef. Yo. Yo, how's it going? What is up? Hi, my cactus friend. <laughs> We wanted to ask you, how does the lockdown affect you since we just started today? Um, so we just got back from a little bit of grocery shopping as well. Obviously we're in Taoyuan, so mm -hmm. it's not quite the same as Taipei. Yeah. Um, but there weren't too many, but a lot of the shelves are a bit empty, the masks are sent out, the, the jiujin, the alcohol oh. spray, that's mm. sold out. Uh, Pao Mian, like instant oh, noodles, yeah, it's sold out. Gone. <laughs> oh, gone. I think the more important thing right now is making sure all the, uh, the elderly people have access to like all the things that they need because yeah. they're the ones that can't rush to the supermarket and if all the young people rush into the supermarket and buying everything, yeah. you know, the elderly people don't have these things. What's left, yeah, 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 for sure. So just making sure that your neighbors, your grandparents, making sure they're okay. I think that's yeah. super important, yeah. Cool. cool. Community effort. Hello. Wait, can you see me? Yes. Hi. So we just wanted to ask, uh, you're in Shinsu, Shinsu? Shinsu. Yeah. Shinsu. and uh, how do you think the lockdown will affect you? In this city, um, I don't know, because of the industry here, I think maybe the lockdown won't be as strict because they mm. need to really keep it going because, you know, it is essentially Silicon Valley, the Silicon Valley of Taiwan, right? Mm. Yes. I don't really know because this is going to be like my first kind of official lockdown. But, but like, I really, I honestly don't know what to expect. But I have faith and hope in the government as well as the uh, medical officials, mm. like everyone in the medical field and the medical officials. Yeah. Yep. And like, I don't know. I feel like maybe the community mentality will come together and hopefully people will like, you know, wear the mask and social distance and everything like that. So we just wanted to know um, how the lockdown will affect you and your business and also your family. So uh, 
obviously the lockdown is, is very something very new mm. and we were kind of planning for it last year i planned on uh, uh, making an online ordering program for my restaurant uh, we didn't really get locked down last year so it's just kind of been sitting there mm. but it's definitely going to affect my business because for example uh it's saturday usually saturday is a busy day yeah. but all the reservations are canceled uh mm. we're not sure how it's going to work for uh the next few days but as of now groups under five so four and under can still dine out for the time being uh so i mean people are going to be a little bit freaked out so i'm not sure how it's gonna it's gonna work out but we're gonna keep rolling with the punches i guess man yeah hopefully it goes by and like hopefully everything's good in the next few days yeah 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 i hope so i mean taiwan's usually really good with this stuff so i'm not too worried about it i just think uh Everyone, you know, there's going to be a lot of Uber Eats, there's going to be a lot of like delivery, there's going to be a lot of sort of curbside takeout stuff, and maybe a little bit of dine-in. I think everybody should just kind of stay calm, take care of the families, and we'll see how it goes maybe after the weekend. We'll see if schools are still going. My daughter is hoping that they're not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I think everyone stays positive, takes care of each other, and uh, don't hoard all the toilet paper. Uh, quick question. Uh, lockdown, level three lockdown in Taipei. Do you think it's gonna affect you and Zhanghua and your family? Yes, because they closed my gym down. Oh no, they closed they the closed gym down. In Zhanghua. Yep, all the gyms around here are down. All the night markets and all the big fun event places in Zhanghua are down. And what would you suggest people do in lockdowns and uh. kind of to prepare? Uh, Zhonghua not to get into level three. Well, I just think following proper guidelines. Um, mm. I'm not a mask fan myself. I mm. actually hate that but I'll wear it because it's uh, obviously the right thing to do. I think something else that lots of people don't realize is keeping your health, uh, your, your body healthy though. Yes. Yeah. So exercise. Yeah. Um, and I think there's a sort of stereotype about not going outside, but if you go to parks and you're not around people, being in the sun is more is is more beneficial than wearing a mask in places you don't need it. So I just say keeping care of your health is the best thing you could do at this point as well as protection against other people and for other people. Hi. Hello, wait, Ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to finally Ni hao. meet you. Me too. <laughs> uh, is the lockdown affecting you guys? Uh, okay, well in Taichung I literally, I just went out on my scooter uh, to do a bit of shopping and I went to Ikea and oh. Ikea is still open. Oh. oh nice so but they're they're super strict on um like making you scan the qr code fill out your details oh, oh croaky uh, I'm unaware of what's actually going on regarding a lockdown so to speak so right maybe i need to do some more research yeah people said there's two difference like when they read the chinese one it's a little bit different from the translated english version yeah. so it's like which one is really the better version to follow because uh, it, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. So far, what would you suggest people do in a lockdown? It's like we've gone through backwards in time when it all started again. Okay, well, I mean, this might be a little bit controversial, but my advice would just be listen to the government. Mm -hmm. I know most Westerners, especially Americans, they don't like to hear this kind of thing. Um, <laughs> but so far, like, the government have done a good job of looking after us. They've kept it under control. I know it's gotten a little bit out of control at the moment, mm. but I mean, we, we were so proud of ourselves for the way the government looked after us last year. Yep. And they did a good job. So listen to the government, wear your mask when you go out. Yeah. For me, I think when they started to spread, a lot of people were just like, oh, it's very small numbers and mm. Taiwan will be like contain it mm. easily but within the three days it became from 13 mm. 29 to 180 meaning that things are still not in the right places yes. because things can go exponentially especially with the spread of the virus I ask everyone to play their part again because the government can do all their power to use all their power to contain this virus, but without everyone's efforts, this will be bad. Wear mask. Mm -hmm. Level three says wear mask everywhere, mm -hmm. outside, and you can have gatherings. Stay indoors if you yeah. can, and just go out for essentials. We're back to the state where this all began, and I think we can all do this again together. Mm -hmm. And seeing the people that spread the virus shaming won't help them but 
we can learn from their mistake that you know yeah like stop gathering with your squads is just not necessary at the moment exactly and even for us we wanted to go some places to meet our relatives and friends but we directly yeah. say uh, it won't happen even uh, even my cousin is about to deliver a baby mm -hmm. we better stay away because for her safety and for the baby as well yes so, so like james said don't panic buy especially mm -hmm. for younger crowds because what is left for the older people and mm -hmm. for the people who ha are disabled yes right and they can't move fast and if everyone takes everything in the grocery stores what's left to for, for them to yes. use right it's really bad and just by the amount that you need don't mm -hmm. overbuy don't panic buy yeah so please let's stay safe together and i'm sure after two weeks if everyone do their own part everything should be better mm -hmm. let's go jayo jayo we can make it